Hello, welcome back. This is Kenji 1913, and we are Let's Playing Rogue Galaxy. In the last episode, we made it to Eden or Mari Glen, and we met Kasala's mom, heard the story about how Mother is pretty much taking over this area, and we're going to help her out. You're our only hope. I'll be off, huh? I'll see what I can do about the whole peace thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we get Her Majesty's attire, which we will equip on Kisela. It is her Mari Glenn look. Look at her. Kind of like, uh... I wonder how far we've gotten. Uh, we've gotten very far. Yeah, well, good good thing they sealed it away. Too bad, uh... Too bad, you know, you guys... Always sealing away these guys and never really, like, you know... Just defeating them outright. God forbid you guys do that. I can't believe they waited for 10,000 years. Yeah, that's a long time, man. That's a really long time. 10,000 years. Yeah, let's check this place out. Yeah, I hope I destroy Mother soon, too. Well, you never know, she might be. This really is the stuff of legends. And yeah, as you can see, Mari Glenn is very pretty. Let's look for that Yuvan guy. Yeah, let's look. Yeah, it's a shadow of its former self. It's a shame because I'd like to see it in all of its glory. Oh, look at that. We got a biofeedback circuit. And mermaid scale. Yeah. I need me one of them. Faded passion. Jess has only got a few more things to get. I didn't want to use the evil box, but whatever. And there we go. Yeah, it's just a good well, idea to check it. I guess it. it's time for the Star King to show us stuff. Yeah, Jester, get in here. Well, you got seven out of the seven star swords, so you're doing pretty good for yourself. Oh, look at that. We got a really good weapon for Kasala, even though don't I don't behind, okay? need it now. Unfortunately. I wonder if this is going to take us to where we need to go. Or if I was supposed to go through that door. I think the only problem with this uh, place... Yeah, I don't want to, I don't think I want to go here yet. 
I think the only problem I have with this area is that it's kind of like a downer. You know what I mean? It's kind of like depressing, the music. It's good. I wonder how far we've gotten. Just kind of depressing. But yeah, look at that sword, huh? Alright, let's go through this door. But why? But why? Oh, there's the door gonna. Yeah, so Rune is like this bad power. No one likes it. Yay, chameleon particular. No one likes Rune. Rune's like that creepy guy, you know, at work. But what can we do? No one likes him. And if he was gone, everybody would probably be happy. Probably. I think that's it. I don't need to get any more of those. Slacking off. I'm not. I'm just checking out the whole place. Who are you to say that I'm slacking off? Zegram. You know, for being... Like this. You know, for being so technologically advanced, you'd figure that they'd have, like, something to help you get through the area faster. You know, like a, like a, I don't know, like, I don't know. Oh, really? But yeah, look at what they're wearing for being so technologically advanced. What's with all the gloomy mugs? You know, you figure that they have like a, what the hell you call them? Like a hoverboard things or whatever? Oh, look at that. We got a new weapon for Jaster. Finally, you got a new one. Ooh, 47. Sweet. Don't fall behind, okay? So there's this guy, Narcissus, here. Who we're gonna buy some stuff from. Yay! We don't need anything here. Honestly, I don't really need anything particular. Oh, you know what? I could use one of these. Just to get his thing up. trying to think if I need any of this stuff. I might need something here, one of those two weapons, but I don't remember. So yeah, now let's equip Zegram with the new new gear. We've seen enough of the Wanderer's Coat. It's now time to equip the Swordsman Gi. Yeah, so now he looks sam very samurai-like. Yeah, what's in it for us? Yeah, I know. I, I'd be worried about... I would be worried about Balcog showing up. I'd be like, hey, this is the only, the only time, you know... We're not having the best of luck here. You have one guy warp in and then shut the damn thing, right? When you do that... That's what I would do. I'd be like, guess what? Only one ship can get in. 
Although, then again, I guess if... Well, no one knew where the hell this place was, so it wouldn't work. No use standing around. Come on. I'm just collecting all the treasures, guys. Ooh, unconscious scarred. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of, uh, that place in, uh, Xenobrake Chronicles, Tethialia or something like that. The one with the lady with the wings on her face, head. I wonder if they got a similar idea from got a good feeling. this Let's game. Hurry. We got everything. At least I hope we did. This isn't right. All right, let's go and touch that save point. But yeah, th there's a lot of similarities to a lot of different areas. This really is the stuff of legends. There's a Dia. There's a door. Yeah, and you know what? You don't see that model. But you know we'll what? You have to do this. You guys should. I don't know. You figure out. They figure out a cure for baldness, wouldn't they? If they're so technologically advanced, where's your cure for baldness? That's what I want to know, everybody. Don't fall behind, okay? You know, it's always interesting to hear stuff about, you know, when when you hear about like, oh, you know, they they have shows that are set in the future, or whatever. And then they just show them, and it's like, what the future, the, whatever the hell they're wearing is just like the quote-unquote future of whatever it was. So like with Star Trek, it was like all these shirts and stuff, and it wasn't really anything fancy. I wonder where this is. All I know, all I know is I should have hoverboards. No, they must have, uh, they must have really, really, really wanted whatever, you know. They must have really wanted Jaster, or even, I guess, technically, Joanna could this have really been. is the stuff of legends. from Eden. Yeah, I like that. Our power. Will it work against Mother? Probably. Yeah, I guess I'll buy those just in case I need them. I am gonna buy all this because I need that. And I'll buy that. Why not, right? Even though I'm never gonna use the stealth pills. Because I want battle. So, yeah, you, you have, uh, what's his name? Uh, 
there's a lot of ladies all over here. You know what's funny is, did you send out Kasala 10,000 years ago? So this is Kasala's homeland. That's why I want to know. And we got Ancient Scroll 3, which we do not need. No use standing around. Come on. Yeah, they got some nice looking flowers here. That's a long ass bridge, by the way. We'll just have to do this. If these guys are so technologically advanced, how come they don't have any, like, you know, uh, escalator things? But, like, for the flat ones. Well, I guess it's time for the Star King to show us stuff. Ugh, I'm not liking this. I know, it's so much running. Battle on the big bridge. Against mother? I hope so. All I know is this is too goddamn long. Here we go, finally. Ah, uh, at last, at last we meet. I've waited so long for you to arrive. This is truly an honor. Uh, for me? Yes. Only he who has the Star King's blood in his veins can defeat Mother and bring peace to the galaxy. I have the utmost faith in your power. And Princess Iriath, within these woods, a trial waits for you. This trial is something you must overcome yourself. A trial? Yes. You will not be able to reach Mother's lair without first going through this forest. Be strong, Princess. You must steal your heart. I believe in you. I have confidence that you will make it through these woods successfully. May you both find good fortune on your way. Are the woods really that bad? Yes, it will be difficult, especially for Princess Ariath. What... what does that mean? It's all right, Jester. Don't worry. I have no intention of giving up. Really? I'm not going to fail. I'm going to save this planet. The planet where I was born. Kisala. All right. Let's go. Thank you, Yuven. Goodbye. Good luck. And be careful. Lord Albioth, Iriath has grown into a fine young woman. Soon, my duties will come to an end. Then I will be able to die without any regrets. I am certain Princess Ariath will make your dream a reality, Lord Albioth. She is destined for greatness. Ooh. Destined for greatness. Greatness just oozes off of her. Alright. Where is that guy? What did he disappear? Alright, so before we head. I can't head... believe they waited for 10,000 years. Let's actually head into this force. Then I'm gonna run back. Yeah, all right. Woo, we're running away. No thanks. This really is the stuff of legends. All right, so now that we are technically and officially in Chapter 11, let's do a couple things. Like run away. Like some weird creature.
All right, so yeah, all these guys are here. Guess what? We're out of here. Yeah. Mari Glenn right there. All right, so let's warp to Rosa. Let's skip this stuff. Although I should have should have seen that, but sorry. I'll, I'll do it again later. Anyways, let's warp over to Ancient Ruins near the tunnel. Find an NPC named Muscle. And hear about a special sword. So there's a guy around here. Oh, you're Umal. This isn't right. Let's see, what does he look like? Or where is he? Legendary planet. Da 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 da. Great tablet. Da 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 da. Muscle. 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 Where are you? Oh, it's back even further, huh? Sorry, guys. I'm. Just take a moment. Oh, he's over there. All right. Let's go this way, I guess. Okay, apparently I can't go that way. Whatever. I don't like this. There's a guy right over here. Come on, try me. Ah, oh, here you are. But why? Hello, Muscle. Alright, so I just talked to that guy. And now we've added info into the info edge. Give me just a second here. Da -da 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 okay. Alright, now we talk to Muscle here about the special sword and teleport to the labyrinth at the core. At the core, let's do it. I've got a good feeling. Let's hurry. I'll take you on. You think I'm gonna go easy? Wow, you didn't kill him? Yo, piss off, you idiot. Don't ever try to show off in front of me, you damn beast. That was weird. We'll just have to do this. Alright, so now we gotta teleport to the labyrinth near the core. See if I can find that strange. Let's see, labyrinth, labyrinth, labyrinth. Core. Okay, yeah. He's around here somewhere. Maybe on the other side. Uh oh. I'll take you on. challenge at all there's an animal there he is what the hell is that it looks like something out of uh legend of zelda like a deku guy or something and there we go we get the lubadian blade the final rare item there we go so we've done it, everybody. We've gotten all the uh, rare treasures. This isn't right. Now I'm gonna do one other thing before we head back to Mio to get our tr prize and even a new quarry. Let's go. We're going to. Here's that's how you get 
get it done. All right, let's get out of here. All right, now I'm gonna head over to Badan. Why you keep saying? You've been playing forever. Why don't you call it a day? Oh, please, can you leave me alone with that? You just think I'm playing forever because I've been on, you know, forever. I guess. I guess. I guess you know what? You're right. <laughs> when you're right, you're right, and you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. All right. So here we are in the Dan. Hopefully, I can talk to this guy who will now let us learn how to make dreadnought cannons. We have to head back to the rock belter mines. Head into the station. Hopefully this guy will be here. Then what I'll do is the beginning of the next episode I will show you how to make the dreadnought cannon. We'll just have to do this. And then that'll be it. For the factory. Maybe I'll wait on going to Mio until then. Hey, we got no time to be slacking off. Here we go, yes. Hello. Yeah, finally. So yeah, what I'll do in the next episode, here's what I'm gonna do, all right? I'm gonna head over to Zerard. I am gonna get me some new quarries. Let's hurry. I'm gonna talk to Mio, right? And then, I'm gonna stop the video. Then in the next episode, I'll start off with, I'll make the cannon or the blueprint for the cannons. And then uh, that'll be it for that. Then we'll get another item from her. Cause as you complete certain things, you will get items from her. So you wanna do that. All right, time to hit the road. Gerard. You know, I never noticed Zerard had a moon. It has its own moon or something. Chapter 11. The greatest chapter of them all, maybe. Hello. The Fallen Monarch. Yeah, so these two we can't take on till I think the final chapter. Or ne maybe next chapter, I don't freaking know. When did Mio change her... What the hell? What are you talking about? Wait a minute. You're not Mio. Why are you... Why is... We get a zero G suit. All right, so we've completed the hunter rankings and the rare items. We almost have the quarries, hunting record. Yeah, you gotta defeat every monster. Elevation flow, we're very close. Factory, we're almost close. Frog log, I think what I have to do is make at least 50 of the recipes. So I'll have to go through and check out some stuff but yeah this sucks man what, what happened to pink Mio that's weird anyways let's equip the zero G suit to be honest I'm sick of looking at him in that sweater all right so in the next episode I am going to um, I'm gonna start off in the fact actually before we leave before I say 
tonight, or toodles or whatever. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. We're gonna come over here, and I'm gonna show you the blueprints to the final item. So yeah, that's it right there. So, yeah, it's two and two. So yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna make this in the next episode. I'll have everything ready to roll. And then, uh, yeah, we will, um, we will be done with the factory. And, uh, then we'll head back to Mari Glen and, uh, continue with what we were doing. So, I have, oh, the Fallen Monarch. You need an Alexander sword, so I'm glad I'm holding on to that. Anyways, uh, yeah, so in the next episode, we will go there. I've been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.